In this video, coaches and parents are going to learn the two most important things to help baseball players build confidence. Every coach and parent knows that youth baseball players perform better when they are confident, right? It's no mystery, even to the kids. And truthfully, it's really quite simple. And most parents and coaches already know how to do it. But they just don't do it. And it all comes down to these two things adults can do to build their child's confidence in baseball or anywhere. One, positive encouragement. Two, unconditional approval. So this video is going to help you correct the reasons why adults are so terrible in the execution of those principles and how to do it right. So let's start with positive encouragement. There's really nothing complicated about it. You just need to consistently deliver communication to your child and player that they can succeed and they have all the skills and abilities they need to do well. See, the essence of confidence for anyone is in believing these two words. I can. Here's the problem. You adults, you need to understand that kids have this round-the-clock tape or, or voice in their head playing messages that I can't, I can't do it, or, or they doubt their abilities. And us adults, we don't hear this because it's inside their heads. And so we think everything is fine and the kid is processing the world like we do. Not true. In other words, we forget what it was like to be a kid. Now, if I personally didn't work inside the minds of so many kids over the years, to this day, I'd have forgotten too. Therefore, you as a parent need to help your child balance that out. Balance out the, the automatic negativity with just as many or more messages that support the two words, I can. For example, you have a really good eye for pitches. You're such a hard worker. That's going to get you through anything in baseball or life. Your fielding just keeps getting better and better every season. Your speed and quickness will always give you an advantage in baseball. What you want to do is say these things in passing, around the home, in the car, anywhere, not just at the baseball field right after a game. You could use labels like speedy or, or Mr. Power or, or lightning to help your child really own their strengths and, and use them as the foundation to build confidence on. Two, unconditional approval. This is actually more important than positive encouragement. A simple statement that I'm going to give you sums the whole thing up. I believe in you no matter what happens here. See, the reason parents and coaches fail in this area is often because of unspoken messages. And here's what I mean. You know, when a kid strikes out, walks back to the dugout, glances at the parent, the coach, and, and sees the disappointment or the body language or the facial expression on the adult uh, person, the kid actually gets the message of disapproval from the adult. This is a kid's worst nightmare, disapproval, especially from a parent. So in other words, whenever any subtle or direct communication, and some studies say that verbal is only 10% of communication, that the child is receiving a message that their approval, their love actually, is, conditional, is conditioned on how they perform, right? And if that's the case, then the child is going to be afraid to fail. And that fear destroys confidence. Confidence just cannot occur in the presence of fear. That's the bottom line. So here's some examples of what you want to do. And the most important time to do it is when the kid does not perform well. Did you get that? When your kid strikes out, make it a point to go over there and tell them, you rocked taking your cuts up there. When your kid makes an error, don't just go over to cheer him up. Oh, it's okay. Tell him, you still got it. You're an awesome fielder, and I'm proud of you for how you went with it. You got your body in front of it. Look for the positive in the event. Never show your disappointment. Even if you think you're just being empathetically disappointed for him. Did you get that? That's the key. 
Use encouraging voice tones, be more positive, be passionate, hug or high five him, touch him somehow, reassure him that he has your full approval, no matter the event. Confidence gets built by successes in the absence of fear. Your job as a parent or coach is to eliminate the fears and highlight the successes everywhere. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.